Hi and welcome to the Studio Macro Primo. In this video, we explore a function that is almost uh, forgotten, which is uh, the edit silence functions. So let's dive in right away. All right, let's check the silence function. I did select a part of my audio and you see there's a part where there's nothing. So you find those function right here in edit silence and uh, insert silence will insert a silence starting at your um, playhead. Okay, so those are the millisecond, and so this is uh, five seconds, like this. Okay, so that's one of the choices. If we go back with our selection, you can uh, select clear, so whatever is selected will be will become silent. Strip silence works like a gate. So you have a threshold to detect the silence. So everything below minus 40 uh, dB. And then um, when it consider it is a signal to keep threshold for the signal detection. So minus 30. So there's a gap. If you would put minus 40, let's say 39. And uh, this is the length of the silence to be detected. So if you click OK like this, all that little spaces that are detected as silence. And once they are selected, you can hit delete to remove them. So if we go back and we select uh, something, the minimum length of silence a bit longer, let's say 200 millisecond. There's a bit less. And let's go to 30, uh, 300 maybe. Yes. So a uh, thing that you can do is, of course, hit delete to remove those spaces. But let's say it is a di dialogue and you want uh, to remove those spaces as well and keep the words all uh, close together. So from here, I would select this, then ripple delete. It's control delete. So we can go faster, control delete. Then control delete and again and again. So that's the way to go. There is a lot of different ways to edit audio files and those silent functions with the, the ripple delete is very interesting. So I hope you'll remember those if you have some projects that they apply to. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, go in the description of the video. There's some links to products, little kickback to the channel. And of course, other ways to help the channel is to play many videos and share those videos. It's always a great help.